Hey guys, I'm at the WRC booth at Simracing Expo 2022, and here we have the Fanatec CSL DD, or the DD Pro, both are basically the same thing, and we've got the uh, new Fanatec Puma Rally wheel rim. So I'm gonna jump on and see what it's like to drive. Now I'm gonna ruin it with my filthy hands because I haven't got any gloves, uh, but we can already feel it's got a nice uh, suede feel to it. It's not, I don't think, it, it might be Alcantara, but it feels more like suede. So uh, let's jump on and let's do some WRC and see what this uh, new Fanatec wheel rim is actually like to push a rally car around the track with. Okay, so jumping into the rig here and we've got the uh, wheel rim in our hands and the first thing you notice is the actual shape of the wheel rim and the feel of it. Obviously with this nice suede or, I think it is suede, not Alcantara, you have that kind of luxurious feel going on. But um, what you also notice is a really nice, solid feeling rim. Uh, you know, it's, it's not flaky or plasticky. As you, you know, it's a high quality, quite expensive wheel rim, so that's, you definitely want it to be solid. Um, what really stands out though, um, and what I didn't notice initially until I just jumped on now, is the um, actual molding and shaping of the, uh, the sort of uh, grip part of the rim. So you've got these really nice hand grip part of it, which sort of, you can put your, your edges of your hand here to use the force, so you're not having to grip the wheel too hard, but then your thumb's got a really nice place to go into the wheel rim, which feels great. Um, and your, your hands sort of just naturally rest comfortably onto the, onto the rim, and sort of they fall into a position that makes sense, and just feels nice. But really quite surprisingly, and what I haven't noticed on that many circular wheel rims, is that you also have these uh, sort of grip points in other locations, so when you get into tighter corners and you have to do, uh, you know, you're putting in a lot more steering lock and you're really making big corrections, uh, you can grip onto the wheel at those points and you have a really nice tactile feel for where your ha hands are on the wheel as you do a barrel roll, for example. So re they've really thought about the ergonomic feel of the, uh, the shaping of the outer rim, but uh, less about the rim and let's talk more about the actual buttons. So in terms of the button quality, first of all, they're all lit up, which as you guys know, is very important when it comes to wheel rims, LED lights, and the different colored LED lights mean that uh, you get more speed and pace, which is why boy racer cars have LED lights under them. Um, the buttons themselves, though, obviously the different lights make it easier to know which button is which. You'll presumably, I think you'll be able to customize which colors are on the button, but uh, you, can, you know, you can just visually see without looking what is what. Um, in terms of button feel, pretty standard, you know, nice uh, positive click, not, not soft, not too hard. You, you're gonna be able to feel that actuation if you're wearing gloves or if you're a naked hand racer. Uh, perfectly what you'd expect from buttons, you know, it's a button. I think some people get a bit carried away with button feel, but I think as long as it's not too loose and doesn't feel flaky, I'm quite happy with that. So. All those central buttons feel really nice and they are positioned quite centrally out of the way so you're not able to reach them all with your thumb straight away and you will probably have to take one hand off. But to be honest, if you're doing rally driving, you're mostly changing it with one hand and then if you're flicking your lights on or you're you know, pushing an option or changing one of these things, you're gonna take one hand off anyway. Um, in terms of the uh, rotary encoders, they are actually really quite stiff so, uh, takes a little bit of effort. For my preference, it's a little bit more effort than I want, and also it's got a slight, there's a little bit of a spongy feel to the rotation. So I'd say these rotary encoders are not as satisfying as rotary encoders that you get on like some of the, uh, like the Asher or the Gomez wheel rims, but uh, perfectly fine and functional. Uh, but I think the rotary encoder could be, uh, there could be a little bit tighter feeling. Function's there though, and I think that's the main thing that matters. Uh, that's pretty much it in terms of in terms of all those options. Obviously, with it being a Fanatec wheel rim, you've got the uh, quick button where you can then push it and then go through your wheel settings, which is really nice with Fanatec stuff, especially if you're playing on games console, jumping from game to game. You can push the button, change the wheel rotation, change the sensitivity, change the strength of the force feedback, all there from the wheel rim. But uh, yeah, you know, absolutely fantastic. Lastly, outside of the uh, overall wheel rim component, you have the uh, quick releases that they've got on here. Fanatec have got some of the new QR2 stuff on these wheel rims, but they're kind of not really showing it off and we haven't been able to really get in there with them. Um, 
The main thing is this is using the uh, booster pack on the CSL DD or the DD Pro and uh, there's no wheel slip or movement. A little bit of movement side to side if you push actually, but the actual rotational movement is uh, totally rock solid. Uh, some of you, if you use a CSL DD, when you've got the boost pack, you'll know that uh, unless you tighten the screw up on it, there can be that clicking thing. So this doesn't seem to have that and I don't think it's got the locking screw on it. So yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how well received these are. Hopefully I can get one of these wheel rims at home. I am a huge fan of circular wheel rims and I also like suede and Alcantara for my hands, specifically so I can uh, ruin the wheel rim over time and to just feel bad about myself. But uh, there you go, guys. That is the new way to get out of the sim rig, apparently. <laughs> that is the new Fanatec rally wheel rim being shown off at Sim Racing Expo 2022 in the WRC booth. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click subscribe and like. And I'm moving around here because Lawrence is filming me and I'm trying to make it hard for him. Uh, but until the next one, happy tea drinking and goodbye, guys. Nice one.